Are you sick of losing out in a seller's market? Well, here's some ways to beat the system. I've helped buyers navigate tough markets and I was in operations during COVID, but I saw some crazy things. So I'm sharing what I know from being operations and being an agent. We'll bust some common myths about needing cash, talk about pre-approval, pre-underwriting, and go beyond just seller concessions and talk about how the timing of your offer actually matters as well. So check the description, timestamps, I put them there, skip to the part that you want, and let's get right into it. We have all heard cash is king. And when you're buying a home, yeah, cash is great. But there are ways we have great lenders that we use that can close on non-cash deals, on finance deals, in the same time as cash. Using a lender that can close in two weeks and compete with cash is a way to beat the market. You don't have to have cash to meet a good offer. I talk about in one of my other videos that there are three ways for pre-approval and the middle one is pre-approval and the top way is pre-underwritten approval which is reviewed by the lender themselves. If you're getting pre-underwritten approval, this is showing the seller that you're committed to close, that you want this home, that this home is definitely for you and you can think of just regular pre-approval as you apply for a job and you get one interview and you get the job, but you can think of pre-underwritten approval, like you apply for a job, you did maybe a, a whole paper on just that job. You did your cover letter, you went to about five interviews, and on the fifth interview, that's when you're making the offer, and you're saying, you want this house. And the employer is going, this guy or gal is pretty good. It's the assurance for the seller that you're gonna buy this home. Let's look at offer strategies real quick. So yeah, offering above asking price is great. I mean, that's really fantastic. If you can offer above asking price, that'll be great for your offer, but that's not always necessary, right? It's not always about the highest number. Like if there's another offer on the home and they're actually contingent on the selling of their home in California, then your offer at listing price, even if that offer is a little bit over, may still be stronger because the contingent offer could be like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna see you in about two months. And when you accept a contract, that's not guaranteed. Next, don't waive your inspection. This isn't COVID. Things aren't moving fast. And even during COVID, I was in operations and I was hearing agents saying, okay, if your buyer wants to submit an offer without an inspection, that's great. Make sure you get it in writing that they don't want the inspection because they know it's a bad idea. Don't do it. Next, sometimes the best deals are hidden in plain sight. Homes that you've seen are on the market for the longest time may be sitting there because they just haven't found the right buyer. Maybe they're sitting there because the agent took pictures on their phone and, and all the pictures are vertical or all the pictures are blurry or there's bad photos or weird paint colors. Bad photos don't matter. And paint, you can always paint again. Don't let it fool you. See through the minor inconveniences when you're buying a home. Yes, price matters, but when you make your move can be really significant too. If you see a home that you love in winter, you may be able to make a stronger offer because the seller really, I mean, if seller's on the market in the winter, they really want to get that home sold. And usually if buyer's looking for a home in, in, in winter, then they really want to buy as well. If you see a home that you love in the winter, don't be afraid to make an offer because you may just be able to make the strongest offer of your life. And yeah, you'll get more inventory in the spring or in the summer, but in the winter, you might be able to make a stronger offer. Strong offers are pivotal to winning in a seller's market. Subscribe down below for more ways to beat the seller's market right now in 2024. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video tomorrow.